Hi friends, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to chat with you about why I am at least temporarily DNFing Donna Tart as an author. I recently put The Secret History and The Goldfinch on my like September TBR. It's the end of September and I'm just not feeling it. I thought I would start with The Secret History because of the synopsis of each book. Um, this is the one that I was the most interested in. I previously tried The Secret Friend by Donna Tart or A Secret Friend or something like that by Donna Tart. And yeah, I got rid of that book. So I actually did start The Secret History. I read the first chapter, which was extremely long. It was 40 some pages. It was 45 pages. And after I read those 45 pages, I didn't read another page. I had no interest in reading for 11 days. So for 11 days, I didn't read anything. And I finally decided, I think I'm going to DNF it and pick up something else. And I thought about picking up the Goldfinch, but I decided that I'm just going to skip Donna Tart for right now. And I'm going to, like I said, at least for now, temporarily DNF just Donna Tart in general. Like I said, I've tried her before. I actually got these on audio. I had this on audio and Donna Tart was um, narrating this book that she wrote, which I thought was amazing. That's the first time I've ever um, been listening to a book written by read by the author, written by the author. Does that make sense? So I was super excited about it, but it was still so slow and drawn out. And I did like her voice, but it just, I don't know what it was. Like, it's one of those stories that like, I just can't put my finger on like one or two things, like the reason why I'm not enjoying it. So I just wrote a little bit of a list. So specifically for the Goldfinch, it's 11 years in the making. It's 784 pages. Um, and it was that 2014 cocktail conversation starter. Like, have you read the Goldfinch? Because of co course it won the Pulitzer Prize. And I think that's amazing anytime a book can do that. I did pull up this article by Vanity Fair and uh, this one critic, James Wood, it's tone, language, and story belong in children's literature, wrote critic James Wood in the New Yorker. He found a, a book stuffed with relentless, far-fetched, plotting, cloying stock characters and an overwrought message ta um, tacked on at the end as a plea for seriousness. seriousness. So basically he didn't really like it and he said that the whole book like you're really just trying to get to that final message. Um, okay, so the secret history is about this one guy that wants to be a part of this exclusive class. Um, I don't really remember. Uh, it's, a, it's a band of misfits at an elite New England college. And there's this one teacher that teaches Greek. And the one guy wants to get in. He does. And um, it just changes the way they think and living in a world away from the humdrum existence of their contemporaries. But when they go beyond the boundaries of normal morality, they slip gradually from obsession to corruption and betrayal and eventually into evil. And I recently watched a review review on booktube that said that it was nothing but like cocaine and getting drunk, like coke parties, getting drunk and like kind of rinse, recycle, repeat. And at this point right now, I'm just not in the mood for a book like that. It's crazy because I really thought this was gonna be five stars for me. And I do hope that I eventually go back to it, but the book is so long and it just doesn't seem like even in that first chapter that was 40, was it 45? Yeah, 45 pages and the font is so small, you guys. It's so small. So it just really turned me off because after I heard that review and after I read the first chapter, I didn't really want to read further and that's a problem. So I didn't. Same thing with the Goldfinch. Um, I really wanted to read this because obviously it won the Pulitzer Prize 
and um, I've heard great things about it but more recently I've heard more negative things about it and I recently watched Aphrodite Reads review of this which I will link in the description box of this video along with this article that I was referencing so check the description box for like additional links that you can check out um, but she really did not like this book either and they specifically went into like why they didn't and pointed out certain things and it's going to be much more in depth than what I'm getting here. So when people say flowery writing, I'm not sure what they're exactly talking about. Are they talking about overly descriptive? Um, I don't know if that's what this is but I don't like the writing. And that was the thing about The Secret Friend that I didn't like, is that the writing was so awkward, even though I think that the plot was eventually gonna get to a spot that I liked. It just, the writing was so weird to me. And that's a huge thing. Like if I just can't get into the writing, even if the story is really good, it just totally turns me off. And that's what happened with all of Donna Tartt's book, books. I didn't even try this one. Like I said, I read 45 pages of this. I tried My Sweet Friend, A Sweet Friend, the other book by Donna Tartt. I guess she's like one of those like elusive authors that only puts out a book every decade which I think is like really kind of cool and mysterious. It also shows that like a lot of work goes into her books but there's just something off with me about the writing that I just can't, it's not very digestible for me personally. So for those of you out there that like it, that's great. That's awesome. I'm glad you were able to enjoy it. I just think for now, I'm going to put them down. Like I said, they're really long books to dedicate time to when I'm having to like force myself to read them. The weird writing, um, she never, I feel like she's trying to tell you something like one sentence, but she uses like 45 pages to tell you. Even the pages that I read in The Secret History, basically what happened is this guy started at a new school and he wanted to get into the Greek thing and he did, the Greek um, he wanted to get accepted into this elusive Greek class, and he did. I didn't need 45 pages to tell me that that's what happened. I guess one of the main reasons why I'm even talking to you about this is not to like be negative or spread my negativity or anything like that. I'm not really upset about it at all. It's just that I did put these on. Both of these books were on my September TBR and I mentioned in that video that any books that I didn't finish in the month of September, I was gonna be like rolling over into my fall TBR, but that's not really the case with these two. I still wanna keep them on my TBR dollhouse shelf. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it up here for you. Um, but I definitely want to hang on to them because I feel like at some point in my life, I will be in the mood for something like this, or at least like that's the hope that I can eventually return to these and enjoy them. But for right now, the immediate future for 2019, I don't think it's going to happen. I'm DNFing Donna Tart for now and the foreseeable future. Anyway, if you have any thoughts about what I talked about or you have any thoughts about her books and her writing, let me know in the comment section down below. If you wanna see Aphrodite Reads review of um, the book, check the description box. Also check the description box if you wanna read that article about the goldfinch. But that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're all having a lovely day and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.